Uh, Lenny, do you, do you have uh, like a, as, I see, uh, as I see it, do you have like a two? Well, you have many sounds, no? But the sounds that I maybe people most know you and I know you is you have the chill out side and yes. you have the trance, electro, whatever you call it side. Yes. And coming back in the in the time, you your collection of the ambient collection. Yes. It, it was six albums, right? Yeah. You you did this music. Uh, w once you arrived in Ibiza? Yeah, that was the first music I produced. Um, was all the ambient. And it was it was really like... A, it was more like a, a guttural, very important therapeutic um, perch uh -huh. for myself to, to do that. I really needed it. I had, I had been going through education. I'd finished my university degree and I was my head full of all these other things and I, so I went here and I it was the third time I came to the island and I went to those trans fight here and I blew all that stuff out of my head with Psytrance and LSD and then I really needed a break when the winter came that was my first winter in Ibiza and it is the most romantic thing you'll ever experience is your first winter in Ibiza mm -hmm. this this serene serendipitous sensation of being home and it, like and everyone's gone it's just this beautiful nature park for uh, when and the ambient music was what helped me relaxed yeah you know? and yeah. i wrote it for myself as a therapy until eva said like hey that's it put it on a tape and then so we put it on a tape and started selling it on the beach so you were doing music for you actually no yeah for, exactly for, for your completely just for health. myself and to my surprise i found the closer you write to your own heart the more people will feel it because like deep down inside there are some principal core dynamics that are yeah. the same so, for all of us. So we can say that that's the reason why you decided to stay here? The music that you did here in, in a therapeutic yeah. uh, way? Uh, no, I had already decided to stay here because uh, okay. that, that first... That first uh, when, when, it, when it was, tell me when it was and yeah, why. In 91, why? 92, I was here working as a bartender, falling in love with very pretty women. And they just took me all over the island and showed me everything. I was like, wow, this is fantastic. But it was uh, only in 95 when I came back to... Uh, I was booked to play as the first live resident in Cova Santa. Where we did the party with Solar and Karen and Malta and all these other colorful Psytrance people. We had 6,000 people and the road to San Jose was completely blocked for eight hours. So the authorities closed Cobo Santa for three years as punishment. So my 14 gigs for that summer just went out the window on the first gig. It was just too good. And then, um, and then I started playing around other places, working in studios. I was the only one who was like a studio nerd. And then I got booked for the closing of space. When I played a full-on, we called it techno trance back then, mm -hmm. and uh, so I played inside there. And, and after that experience, like after the sensation of the people and all everything that was flung at me, I made the decision there to quite demonstrably rip up my return ticket and go and phone my mom from the phone booth across from space and tell her, like, I'm going to stay here. And it, it took my friends and family a long time to understand why I did that, why I didn't come home. But but here was an island f full of music, all about music. Everything was music. It, just, it was a perfect place for me. I did not want to go back because I did not want to make a choice in society of uh, what I had to do uh, in society. I wanted to make music. I wanted to be that guy. So Ibiza was my pilgrimage. And that was a perfect and, and place And I focused, to my codex it. was, it has to be music, only music. It can only be music. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. And Let's listen to the, this track. I don't want to, uh, the track is finished, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs>
Lenny, um, I think one of the things that uh, we can remark on your career, uh, in my opinion, that's my opinion, um, that you put ambient music on places where we could never imagine. For example, and please correct me if I'm uh, if I'm wrong. Go ahead, uh, shoot. <laughs> Uh, your ambient collection was the first album of chill out music that got a platinum disc and also after all these all these years you are working for uh, you are producing music for video games okay yeah uh, to, to, to be completely fair uh, my first platinum disc was the the doors riders on the storm remix and then my, my next two platinums were chill out CD compilation for Warner music and then I signed with Warner And uh, so, and also Cover the Mars done a lot of platinum, and uh, and I had some tracks on there as well, so that helped. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, ultimately, right now I've ended up working in in here. video games. Yeah, in it's video games. How is this experience? It is perfect. It is the um, it's the biggest market in the world now. I've been quite fortunate in my my, my, my career path and uh, I uh, once again it comes back to the thing I wrote the music for myself and it, it was if you are not scared to release your art to public if you don't feel like you are demonstrably naked in front of people to be laughed at uh, then it's not important enough to you so 
So yeah, I needed Eva to whack me into releasing the first tracks. But, but then it took off. And it, it kind of after six albums, I had said what I wanted. It had kind of, I, I journeyed into the depths of that. And of course, I also, I, I come from heavy metal and classical music. So I, I was always very, for me, it's fun to make music in any style, other styles. I guess it's a little bit like uh, trying all the different chocolate in the chocolate shop before you s settle down and marry a piece, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and maybe it's that, uh, maybe it's a tricky question and you don't want to answer, just don't, no, no. don't do it. Cool. Um, of course you are here in Ibiza for how, how many years you were living here? Uh, I, I came in 91, I moved here solidly in 95, so... So it's it's uh, 29 years that I'm on the island, but living regularly four years less than that. So you have seen the musical scene changing many times. Yeah, is that you do have? Do you have uh, maybe an opinion or a view of uh, where we are going into electronic music? Well, maybe it's yeah. I mean, um, Ibiza was when I arrived here. To be honest, there was techno inside space in the back room, but generally it was very happy house. Yeah. And uh, the clubs played heavy house. The local population liked techno and all the foreigner mixed with local, we liked trance. Mm. So that was really like the three groups. And like none of them would be seen in the party of the other one. It was very segregated. I think the first big push came when, when Cocoon moved here. Uh -huh. Suddenly everybody, the techno became a fashion in a big way. And, and then you had people like I mean, Van Buren and then some you know, uh, speed garrets or UK garrets or whatever they want to be called. And, uh, and and suddenly like the form started breaking up and we got more and more variety, which this has continued. Now, I think it's kind of settled into a new style now, but you can still pretty much find anything. So yeah, like, uh, the dimensions were breaking open at that point. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah but, uh, but maybe always in that group of trans house and techno. No? It was also an age of innocence. Nobody knew how to dance to this music, so everybody had their own personal psychosomatic reaction to the music that they came up with. It says, you never saw something like today where you have like, 4,000 hits just doing this, but I guess uh, a lot of things have changed. I feel like when, when I came to Ibiza, the music was in the front seat. The DJ drove the car, yeah? And then the whole industry came behind that yeah and yeah. now it's a little like the DJs in the back seat half passed out you know <laughs> yeah that's uh, it's it, that, that has changed a little but of course also we are an evolutionary uh, industry and uh, do you think this is going to change now after these I times think it's, it's, we I are think living just moved to somewhere else like when 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 the, when the clubs got stylized in the late 80s then the the Balearic beat moved to the to the to the beaches so it was all the beach DJs who would like play a B-side from a maxi single of a pop artist going into a something very, very electronic, going into something very, very orchestral. That liberty, the Bale Balearic Beats is not a style of music, it's a methodology by which you grasp all styles of music and you spin them into, and that's very difficult to promote because people are normally, this is a house night, this is a that kind of sub-genre mm -hmm. of techno night. Mm -hmm. So so that, I remember there was, there was nights in Pasha where it was, uh, a groove rider followed by Frankie Knuckles. Uh -huh. You know that could never happen today. You know, but but, but it was like yeah. that. Parties. Some of them spill over to events. So there's this. There's this. There are many Ibizas. Find the dance floor with a billionaire passing a joint to a bum. Be called with the hash, so the bum has it, but you know, <laughs> they share it and then they're that's the real treasure here. Yeah. They say there's a lot of magic totems here on the island. Personally, I think uh, the collective psychosphere of all our mind states united into one gigantic. Mm -hmm. Love cult. Completely agree. Completely agree. Okay, yeah. let's listen to more music. Venga.
Now you mentioned before that yeah. you used to make music um, in a therapeutic way. Yes. Because you well you needed that and that was your totally. maybe your connection with the island when you put some music on the, on the nature, no? Yes. I really feel that because I think it's yeah. um, that was with ambient music that it was yeah. more obvious when you if you want to put music to the island, I yeah. think the first option would be ambient music. Yeah. But uh, actually you, you, I, I called it ambient grooves because it's ambient but it has a little drum something is very uh -huh. elegant. Like LTJ Bogan did a lot of this like very ethereal drum and bass stuff. Yeah. Like, really beautiful things. So it was a little in that direction. It happened uh, the same when it's the tempo is 124. I mean, I mean, in the, in sure. In, about it, the connection on, on the island and the therapy way. Sure. It's the sure. It doesn't matter this stuff. Well, you. you see, like, uh, gravity is uh, X amount here on the planet. So when you look at GABA styles, they dance from leg to leg because gravity is not fast enough for them to jump on the beat. And then when you come down through, like, uh, 140, 30, 20 BPM, yeah, people are still jumping. When you come down to the tempos of disco, 100, 220, that is the natural groove for the muscularity of the body to swing against our gravity. And you get more and more into the beat. But if you put it at zero, i.e. you lie down and fly, for me, that's the ultimate trance. Space yeah. the fuck out. Uh, ne ne next track is okay. next track is your track, no? Yes, it's a track I did with uh, with Rictum, um from uh, GMS and uh, and 1200 mics. I think uh, he's one of the most uh, um, unknown talents outside the scenes that he works in. He's one of the most amazing producers I've ever had the honor of working with. And we got to, to live together for a while and uh, and we went balls in on bass technology and yeah it's uh this is one of these uh these tracks it's actually only been played at burning man oh. so uh this is going to be the first time that it's actually played on the airwaves nice. it's a track just for burning man nice i played it for the funeral of a friend of ours called bansi who was half of rictums uh so we we laid we laid him there at the temple and uh, yeah Thank you for sharing with us. No, oh, sure. Here we go. <laughs> it's uh, it's called Analogic mm -hmm. with a double L and the hyphen between the two L's. It becomes anal logic, but anal logic. we won't talk about that. It has nothing to do with the sorry. It's just we didn't know what to call it at the time. You ready? Okay. <laughs> ready. There you go.
So yeah, deep, floaty, and uh, very much Ibiza winter. This is a track written in February, and you can absolutely hear this uh, almost Nordic thoughtfulness behind that you, know, you sit there in the darkness of winter and you think and it brings you deeper. Deeper. It's, got it's got a bit, a bit of, that. of that. Now the, now next, the next track, track I'm, gonna I'm gonna, gonna play, play is, is um, it's a real it's, 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 uh, uh, it's a track called Autumn. Ah, Ganga. It's basically yeah. three Danish producers yeah, yeah, yeah. Ganga. working together to give our impression of flamenco. Yeah? And uh, so this is my remix of it, which is the beat version. The other was a little more ambient. And there are two, there are two styles of flamenco. There's the Arab and there is the Gitano style, mm -hmm. uh, which is like uh, the, normally people think about the Gitano style. But if, if you look at like in, um, in Cardiff, where you, have, um, where you have mosque and church together in one building, there is this connection that is found only in Spain, really. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> and the Arab style of flamenco. I, I love the spiciness of this exotic. So, so you will hear in this one a guitar uh -huh. with, in the Gitano style, and then the strings come in in the Arab flamenco style. So it's our Danish homage to uh, to 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 our newfound motherland in, here in yeah. Spain. Because yeah. I, I love this place, and I've lived another thirty years, and. You know, I pay my taxes here. I, I, if Denmark gets attacked, I hope they can use their jet fighters for something. I'm not going home, but if you peace, I would come. I would be the first in the trenches because this this is where I live. This is the land. This is the dream that I would defend. My 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 heart is here. So this is our our homage to to the Spanish spirit and and its multiculturalism. Nice one.
right. Amazing track. That Thank that uh, brings me directly to the well, 10 years or 12 years ago when I discovered that label from Denmark. Ah, yeah. Uh, Music, Music for Dreams. Music for Dreams. Yeah, absolutely. No? Kenneth. Our friend Kenneth. Ruling. Kenneth. Yeah, rules. all the Danish people have yeah. a great talent, no? Yeah, well, Kenneth yeah. taught them a lot, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he, was, he, was, he was in front of the whole curve on that one. Absolutely, and still is in many respects. Super nice track from Ganga, and yeah. I think we are arriving to the end. Yeah, so uh, sadly, for, the, for the final here, I'm gonna. I got a little trick up my sleeve. This basically it's a Peter, it's Peter Gabriel's Last Temptation of Christ, the soundtrack to that, The Passion. And I always used to, back in the day, on the sunset, I used to layer it with the MC Sultan's drums from Morocco, and they just go perfectly well together. So we can. We can just fade out on that and it yeah, would make a lot sure, of sense. Sure, of course. Yeah? Where do cool. you feel? Excellent. Well, it's been an honor. Bro, man. it's Corona been and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. super nice to have yeah. you. Thank, Thank you for inviting me to your, to your, yeah. to your view I'm and really the happy sofa to, here. I did this with you. Absolutely. And always inspiration, fun, and have, uh, well, this is your house. and Absolutely. You are yeah. welcome anytime. We, like I say, the magic in Ibiza is the collective mind, collective mind state of all of us. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So exactly. we're like a bouquet of thoughtful flowers <laughs> <laughs> with a lot of heart. Thank you, Lenny. Thank, Thank you. you. And now let's take off. Yeah, last track.